Alright, today I want to talk about GTA 6 online interiors and how they're going to work. In GTA 5, we have a lot of closed interiors such as your CEO office, auto shops, MC clubhouses, bunkers, Ellis car meet, nightclub, apartments, things like that. The reason why they make it to where you can't just walk in without any sort of loading screen is because we have custom interiors and um, or it could be that multiple people own the same apartment similar to in Red Dead Online if you have a campsite at one specific area of the map your campsite could be moved depending on how many people are there in that uh, vicinity but I think it can easily work in say like a condo that you have and it won't give you a specific apartment number it will just take you to the elevator and just load you right into your custom apartment but I think that you should be able to at least go inside of the doors of the actual condo that you're going to and you won't necessarily go into passive mode until you reach that elevator and then you'll be safe from being engaged in PvP similar to just walking into one of your businesses or something like that it'd be very uh, similar like that I think uh, interiors like the nightclub I think it should be open and you should be able to walk in without going into a loading screen and then when it comes to you personally owning that nightclub you should be able to just go to your office door and then it will put you in a loading screen to you know not let you be killed by griefers and things of that nature I think some areas that are closed in GTA 5 online such as the movie theater I think it should be open and people can freely go in and out and if there's PvP engaged uh, it's, it's, it's really hard to say when you know you should be griefed or not like especially like say there's an interior in GTA 6 maybe they bring bowling back you know I think it should be open to where you can bowl but once you actually get into a game it would put you in passive mode in a sense and nobody will be able to shoot you but until you go to the clerk or whatever to start a game I think it should be open for other players to freely roam around but not necessarily engage with you if you're playing a game I don't think that you playing a game should be uh, interrupted uh, through PvP I think other locations still be close should still be close like the LS car meet um, you know that's the whole reason why they basically made the LS car meet was because anybody trying to have a car meet in some random parking lot throughout the city are gonna get griefed by you know a bunch of jets like that so if you're more in an uh, open lobby without any friends or community members that you know and you want to have a random meetup I think the LS car meet is a very good option to you know still see a bunch of cars and not have to worry about somebody blowing you up so I think uh, things like the LS car meet should still be behind a loading screen in its own separate interior away from PvP mainly but going back to the apartments I think that even if you do not own a specific apartment that you should still be able to go inside and even take the elevator whether it be to buzz somebody's apartment like we can in GTA 5 and go into somebody else's apartment but actually go up to the roof and gain roof access or if there's a swimming pool on say the 20th floor or something like that I think you should be able to uh, get to that area whether you own the uh, apartment or condo or not I think one thing that's going to change a lot is supposedly there's supposed to be you know hundreds of interiors um, probably comparable to how Red Dead Redemption did it and in Red Dead Online there's a lot of houses and different interiors that you can easily go into so I'm thinking these uh, mission locations where you have to go into somebody's room and they have you go into a loading screen at that point I think a lot more of these um, missions will be open and you're not gonna have to go through any loading uh, screen to get into there to be in a 
separate interior i think you could seamlessly you know just walk in and similar to um how they have it in the cluck and bell raid and um areas like that um especially with the the business battles um different locations they open up and you can access their interiors like one of the uh, missions in gta 5 single player with uh franklin lamar and stretch and how they get um caught up in that factory by the balas but i think uh yeah there there's gonna definitely be a lot of open buildings such as clubs strip clubs stores malls factories uh, you know different facilities uh things of that nature and i believe all of these uh, should still be open it's just mainly uh, things like businesses I think you should be able to enter the interior and it should be open but I think once it comes to your specific office then then you won't have to engage in PvP but the whole um, idea over customization and things like that really uh, make things complicated so I'm not really sure how they're gonna go about implementing these businesses that we own. Maybe there'll be a lot of open strip clubs or just nightclubs in general that you can't buy but are just owned by the NPCs and are just open, you know, interiors. Uh, I think will work out better. I, I definitely think like areas like the Maze Bank Arena and whatever arena they decide to put in GTA 6 should be open um, to free roam around and uh, things like that. I'm just really hoping that GTA 6 online, the interiors are more similar to how GTA 4 works. And, you know, GTA 5, that's the biggest thing about it is it's lacking in interiors. And But according to the leaks, supposedly there's going to be a lot of interiors in GTA 6 so I'm just curious to what they do in terms of the online component and which areas will be cut off from PvP and which won't. Obviously GTA 6 single player is just going to be a completely different story and that's not really, uh, they don't really have to think about things such as players um, griefing each other and things like that. A lot of the interiors don't get locked access from us and there'll be less interiors to go into than say the single player component but that's mainly everything that I wanted to touch on about how GTA 6 might handle the interiors when it comes to GTA Online